What's up everybody, I'm Ricky. Welcome to my channel and today I'll be installing a custom ROM operating system called Linux OS 18.1. It's a micro G version. It is uh, unofficial and it's pretty much beta. So uh, keep that in mind. And I'm also going to root and uh, install a Proton kernel, Red Bull as well, um, to make the phone faster and uh, upgrade a little bit okay before we start there's a disclaimer you guys should all know that already you guys break your phone you know it's your own fault all right but it's pretty hard to break a phone even if you do it's easy to fix so uh, I wouldn't worry too much about it what we need is a minimal ADB and fast boot so click the link in the description and download and install this here scroll down until you see minimal and ADB and fast boot here Scroll down until you see this here, the setup exe. Click download here. Download somewhere and save it and install it. That will give you the drivers for your phone. And uh, then we can, it also makes the PC able to send fast boot commands over to your Pixel 4 A5G, okay? And download and extract the platform tools folder. In this link here, click on this here, check mark that. Click download, download to your folder somewhere you can remember. I have it here. Open that folder, zip folder up, extract the folder that's inside. I have it here already. Close that. Uh, now you want to download the Linux OS 18.1. Click on this link. The version we want is right here. You could download the old version if you want, but that's very buggy. This is a lot less buggy, and this version has a broken camera. So you don't want that one. Do this one here. Over to the right, there's this three dot thing here. Click download, standard download. That's fine, I think. Download it. I have it here already. It should download to a zip folder. When you open it, it should look like something like this in there. And uh, Magis Manager, if you want to root your phone. So click on this link, scroll down, Click on download here and click download here. Okay. It's going to be called app debug apk, but that's the Magis Manager. I have it right here. And if you want to install the Proton kernel, the custom kernel here, which also, you know, this, cu this custom kernel improves CPU frequency, um, reduce debugging overhead opens up five megabytes more of extra RAM for apps to use all this cool stuff CPU tuning for Snapdragon 765G um, you can use this for Pixel 5 as well but yeah all this cool stuff another 75 megabyte of RAM unlocked yeah it can make your phone better you know okay so if we download that oh download from here okay click this is version 1.1 download that save it i have it right here let me delete some stuff real quick because this is what i'll show you guys in a bit all right now we want to head over to our phone our pixel 4 a 5g and we want to unlock the bootloader so we can send fast boot commands to our phone okay so you go into settings you go into about phones you scroll down to see a build number. Repeatedly kick it until it says you are now a developer. It's about seven clicks. Go back one. Oh, sorry. Go back one. Go into systems. Open an advanced tab. Go into the developers option. And OEM, OEM unlocking. Enable that. Click enable. Now we want to power off our device by holding down the power button. Click and restart. And once you click restart, hold down the volume down button as well. Keeping it held until you see the bootloader screen. Like this screen right here. Okay. So now you go over to your PC. You open up a command prompt by going to the search thingy down here. Type in CMD. Hit enter. And here's your command prompt. And you want to type in your command prompt CD space. You take the platform tools folder, drag and drop it into the command prompt and hit enter. And you want to type in fast. Here, let me make this bigger for you guys. 
Fast boot. Flashing. Unlock. And hit enter. Over your pistol for FIG. It should say do not lock the do not unlock the bootloader. What you want to do is, is press down the volume button once until it says unlock the bootloader and press the power button. Now your bootloader is unlocked. The fast boot mode is ready. It should say device state unlocked right there in red. Head over to your PC and we're going to install the Linux operating system, okay? So you want to do is type in uh, fastboot space dash w space update space and you want to drag and drop the lineage zip file here into the command prompt and you want to hit enter. What that will do will that will install the lineage operating system all for us without us needing to worry about a damn thing. And on our phone it should reboot into the lineages fast boot like this right here just don't touch anything just leave it alone because the command prompt is still installing more images into our phone okay once it's done you know, boot up the operating system for the first time it might take some time so just let it do this thing Alright, once the operating system boots up, you want to do the initial setup. So click next and select your area and your time zone. I'm in the Eastern American time zone. Um, click next, next. Uncheck that if you want. If you want to help improve Linux OS, you can if you want. You don't have to. You do your um, fingerprint and stuff. If you want, skip this, skip this, start the operating system, and now we're going to root it, okay? So if you want to root it, you want to first have internet connection, so make sure you have internet connection. Let me connect to my internet. Okay, I'm, in, I'm connected to the internet. Now we want to turn on file transfer. I'll we'll click on this here, and click on file transfer. Now head over to our PC. And here we go into the internal storage of the device, go into the download folder and the uh, magic manager that you downloaded earlier called app debug here. Drag and drop it into your folder. And you want to open up the lineage zip file folder as well and drag and drop out the boot IMG over to here and then drag and drop it into the download folder of your phone. Okay, now we can turn off file transfer and go into your device's file manager in the app drawer. Go to download folder and click on the app debug, which is Magic Manager, and click continue, click install, click open. And next to manager, click update. This is why you need internet because it's connecting to the internet right now, so you want to click install. Well, let me lower this one real quick here so you guys see better. There you go. You click on style, you want to click on settings here and uh, allow from this source. Go back. Now click install again. Click open. And then next to magis, you want to click install here. Click on select and patch a file. And go up to this three line things on top here. Go into the pixel 4 5G. Go to the download folder and click on the boot IMG and click on let's go. Alright, now that that's all done, Magis Manager has created a file in your download folder called Magis Patched. You want to bring that over to your PC. So you want to turn on file transfer. Click on this charging this device via USB thing here and click on file transfer. And on your PC, go into the internal story drive of the Pixel 4 5G, go in the download folder, and drag and copy over Magic's patch here onto your computer. Save it there. 
Now we want to on our Pixel 4 a 5G reboot back into bootloader mode by holding down the power button, hit restart, and rather hitting restart, click hold down the volume down button, okay? Okay, once back in fast boot mode or bootloader mode, we want to go to your PC with the command prompt still open, type in fast boot flash boot space uh, flat fast boot space flash space boot space and drag and drop the matches patched IMG over and hit enter that will root our device once it's done we want to make sure this says starts like so and click the power button now when your phone restarts back up go into magis manager in the middle it should say uninstall magis don't click on it but that means it's rooted now so the extra icons at the bottom and if you want to install the custom kernel, Proton Kernel Red Bull, um, this restart our phone back into bootloader mode, hold down the power button, press restart and hold down the volume down button. Now in fast boot mode, go over to our PC with the command prompt still open, type in fast boot boot space fast boot space boot space and drag and drop the Proton Kernel version 1.1 image over the command prompt and hit enter and over on your phone you should see it'll start installing there you go flash new boot image kernel installed rebooting in three seconds there you guys have it you guys have now have just installed the custom rom lineage os 18.1 on the pixel 4 5g you also rooted it and you also installed a custom kernel proton kernel red bull which uh, makes your phone faster, and better, and stronger, and healthier. This is the Micro G version of the lineage, remember that? So there's no G apps, no Google Play service, no Google Play. Uh, if you want to use YouTube, you could download and install YouTube Vance. Uh, the, the website should show you how. Maybe I, I'll show you guys how to, but I think the rooted version is easier to install. You could also install WebG apps. Um, but I, I don't even know why you need that for it. If you, because you want to get away from Google, Surveillance, uh, the Linux takes the Linux Micro G version. There's no Google stuff in here. That that you know, like like the Pixel 4a 5G has. But yeah, this is a good phone, I think, especially with this uh, operating system and, and plus with the Proton kernel, the custom kernel. Um, yeah, guys, there you guys have it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am Ricky, and if you guys like this video, please like. If you dislike it, please dislike. Comment down below. If you have any questions, let me know. If I, I'll help you any way I can. Uh, I'm still new to this too, but hey, uh, this stuff is pretty simple to me. Um, I don't know everything, but this stuff is pretty cool. I like it. I like this. I like this uh, operating system a lot. And so far, 18.1 version, everything works pretty good. Um, fingerprint reader works, and the back button, I mean the the, the navigation button here. Where'd it go? Navigation, navigation systems, buttons. I could invert the layout. So the back button was here. Now I moved it to over here. And I, I love the back button over here. The Pixel 4a 5G doesn't have the back button here, which is gay. Lame as F, but whatever. It's not good. So yeah, comment down below. Uh, share this video guys, um, subscribe, hit the notification and all that stuff for me guys, okay? Thank you guys so much. You guys have a good one. Yeah! <laughs>